Well, the IB chemistry exam is less than two weeks away now, and you want to know what's going to be on the test? Well, stay watching. Okay, so I don't have the actual questions for the test, but this is what I have done. All right, methodology. I've gone through the past papers and I've gone through the specimen paper. So what I've done is I've allocated marks according to each section, roughly with a few errors. So overall, know your foundations really well. Know units one to four, but five and six too. You can see in the past that they always heavily test you on one, two, six here. But when you get down to here, this is papers, uh, the last four papers, you can see that there's a lot more gaps, uh, especially nine and 10. And especially with the old way that they used to test you, uh, you can actually work out ways to completely eliminate, eliminate eight, nine and 10. And then you don't even need to learn them almost. Or if you do and you get unlucky, like in 2015 uh, May session, time zone two, uh, you'll only lose minimal uh, marks, 10 out of a total. Uh, if that's the only thing you got wrong, is not going to be significant. We're not going to stop you getting a seven. So the new paper is going to be much harder. There's no way to skip out of things. I'm going to assume that they will do a randomness in units seven to 10. So make sure you know one to six well before you start studying units seven to 10. There seems to be an overall arching emphasis on the environment that they seem to throw into every textbook from starting from year seven these days. And so make sure you know these equations really well. Chlorofluorocarbons, nitrogen oxides, maybe sulfur oxides and ozone. They've managed to find out ways to pretty much insert every single unit into one of those questions, whether it's stoichiometry or whether it's energetics or kinetics, organic chemistry, they can find ways to ask you questions on these things. And it may just be that you need to know the equation before you can actually do the rest of the problem. So that is one major emphasis for the new syllabus. The second thing is the new equations. They haven't put them in the data booklet and they're not pretty. And there's a very good chance they'll ask at least one of those things because especially for formal charge, it's it can nicely tie in with other questions. So make sure you know those two formulas because you can't rely on the data booklet. So here are my top picks for the exam, formal charge, CFC, radical reactions, and know your basics of foundations, units one to six. They always have stoichiometry in there, every single exam. So best of luck, and I'll see you later.